So there's my wings where they spent the summer high in the ceiling out of the way. So first step here on getting going for this winter is to get them down and put them back on this wing stand. So the wing coming down to its final resting stop which will be between those two posts. There's the other wing underneath it which will go back up into the ceiling and out of the way. So I got the wing down and put it in the fixture, rejigged it, got it level, square, perpendicular, parallel, and all the other things, and it is ready to rivet. It's the right wing up in the ceiling still, and it's not nearly as ready to rivet. So I started riveting the wing skin. <clears throat> got a couple rows done from the coming from the top down. Seems to be quite a few different theories on how to rivet it, but basically I'm dividing it up by skins. So I do this side, that side of the skin, and then I do the in-between ones. And I do that all the way across and then move down to the next row. Seems to be working okay. Some issues came up when I first started to rivet. One was I couldn't get the bucking bar to fit up in the, that high up in the nose rib. So I'll show you what I did for a bucking bar. So this is the practice piece that my lovely assistant and I worked on to practice riveting before we start actually riveting on the wing. So these are number fours on this side, these are threes on this side. But one of the issues that immediately comes up is when you reach up in there to rivet, it's pretty tight. And you've got to fit between the flutes. So I made this tool, and I just made it from steel. I had to lay it around and polished it up. But basically, it fits in between the flutes. It's not too long so that it doesn't hit on the other side. <clears throat> and it's cut back so that it gets around the fluting for the, for the nose. Because that was a problem with any other bars I had. So it's been working really well. I left it round on one side so you can get in a little closer. But square if you have a nice edge to lean it up against. So we're going to put this rivet in right here to number three. So here's a look up in the inspection cover for the strut. And so anyway, we're going to put this rivet in right there. So you can see this little bucking bar fits in here pretty nice and it clears the flute. So as soon as my lovely assistant is ready, Ready? Yep. We'll buck it. Go. Now just check it. And we're done. Go. And do another hit, short. Are you ready? Yep. Go. So everything's been riveted above the spar line on the top side. So now I'll turn my attention to the, the bottom side nose ribs. So now that the top nose is done, it's time to rivet from the top down the bottom nose ribs down to the uh, spar, but not the spar itself because we need to put the bottom sheet under. So the nose on the top side of the wing has been riveted. We're on the bottom side now, so to get up in here and rivet these, I've devised this method. I have my 2x4 pillow. Finish riveting the nose ribs so they're done on the bottom and the top. Next step will be to rivet the main spar on the top. Ready? No. Yeah. Go. Good. 
Ready? Yep. Go. Good. Ready? Yep. Go. Good. Now I'm riveting the top skin to the ribs. Ready? Yep. Go. Again. Riveting the top of the wing is finished. So now it's time to turn my attention to the bottom side. Put the lower wing skin in place so it can be next on the rivet list. This is the sheet that goes below the fuel tank and I realized I haven't dimpled it yet so I'm getting it dimpled so I can fit it to the bottom. And then once it's all fitted up, I'll be ready to rivet. it. So moving on to riveting the, the bottom sheet on, I've got it all clecoed in place and uh, set it up so that these strings are holding the sheet up out of the way so I can get behind there. And then I made a bench to go underneath there so I can just lay up underneath there and hold the, the uh, bucking bar. I've already riveted each rib. So I started in the center, went to the outside, then halved it and halved it till each rib was done. And so now we're going to work on the infill. So this is what I could see from inside the bay. So my lovely assistant will pull out the Cleco. Go ahead and put the rivet in. All right, so there's the rivet in. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. And that one's done. Go to the next one. Ready? Yeah. Go. Good. You ready? Yep. So there you go, the majority of this wing has been riveted, the blower wing skin has been riveted in place. There's a little bit to do around this uh, fuel tank cover here, but um, the big part, the top, the tips, and the bottom is all done. Okay, I installed this bottom plate that goes between below the fuel tank, and I decided to install it under this sheet, which is the same as here. But I also put it under this sheet over here. I can't really tell from the plans exactly how you're supposed to do it, but I tried it on top, which would be the same as the sheet up here. And it actually didn't lay down as well as putting it under. So I'm putting it underneath there. <clears throat> so now I'll get that all clecoed in position. Before I rivet this, I'm going to come up here and cleco up here around the fuel tank opening. And then I'll rivet this lower panel in place. 
So I'm installing these nut plates. I'm just going to click them in place. And get this top sheet riveted and then work my way down and then finish off below the fuel tank. So I click out all the nut plates in, in place all around the opening and finish click on the bottom sheet. On the top here I've started to rivet so I did it the exact same way as um, everywhere else. So I started in the center and I did one on the outside outside here and then divide it in half. So this is my basic method for getting these on straight because if you just put them in there, put a Clico on one side, that plate actually doesn't want to sit down flat normally. And so uh, you'll have to mess around to get the second one in and pull it down tight. All right, so I'm gonna do this one right here because I'm dividing up what's left. So I put the screw in here first and then I snug it down and do that so I can pull the two Clecos out. Then I put the two rivets in. Sometimes they'll go right in. Sometimes I gotta loosen the screw up and then line them up. So when that comes up like this, I just hold them in. Loosen the screw a little, push them in as far as I can. And that's pretty good. And I just come in here with the squeezer. Squeeze that one. And that one. So the top's done. All the nut plates put in place and riveted. So now I'll work my way down this side and then this side back here. So there we have it. Finished off this bottom panel, riveting it, finished off squeezing around the fuel tank here. And uh, pretty much the wing is riveted, all the sheets are riveted in place. Still need to put the access panels in, and I fabricated those in the last winter, so they're ready to go. And then I need to put the stiffeners and uh, make the cover or finish the cover up for the, uh, the fuel tank bay. And then I'll take the wing out of the jig 